Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the brand new special offer in the pack market today, which is a new VC only Galaxy Opal and a pretty good one at that. We'll talk about him here in just a second and whether or not you should buy it. But before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 25,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day, tons of consistent daily my team content. Would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Without further ado, let's hop right into it and let's discuss. So, 2k put galaxy opal david robinson into the player market or i guess not the player market i'm sorry i wish they would put him in the player market but they're not going to do that they put him into the pack market and um d rob is 75,000 vc to buy they've been going through and dropping a lot of good galaxy opals in the pa pack market as of late between opal lonzo opal akeem opal d rob opal penny last week uh, several pretty darn good galaxy opals that are viable Obviously, D-Rob's a great card that I have him myself on my own team. I, at the same time, would not personally recommend, I don't think, buying him. I don't think it's worth 20 bucks, personally. I, again, have not been at all a proponent of giving 2K any sort of money as of late. Um, so, me, personally, I would say don't buy it. But if you're really, really desperate for a big man, you really, really need one. At the end of the day, if you have the money, it is your your choice if you have disposable income you can do so i personally just recommend not doing so but at least it's not gambling it is a guaranteed something i just think generally speaking when it comes to funding 2k period at this point financially that in of itself is a bad idea so uh i don't think unfortunately we're getting a ton of content this week or anything along those lines uh or anything special i mean i would love it if we do i'm looking through here though and i don't see anything new i I, I, I guess if we do get anything new, locker code, challenges, agendas, anything like that, obviously y'all know I will have y'all uh, with all of the information on that, and hopefully we do see some new content. One thing that is worth talking about is supposedly collector level supposed to be updating. Where is it? Like, what's going on here? Um, it is April 29th. I know I made a whole video on this last week, but they said Kobe was going to be available in April. It is April 29th. Tomorrow is April 30th, uh, the last day of April, and we should be getting some sort of, I mean, we'll be getting bold content tomorrow, which is going to be fine, but uh, besides the bold content, we should be getting some sort of update to collector level. Like, and I guess, unless they're just lied, and that's what it's looking like at this point, is that 2K just lied to us about collector level, and it being updated in season six, but in April, that's what they said was going to happen at the beginning of the year, and apparently it's not happening, so I don't really know what's going on with that. I have made a good amount of progress towards collector level. I'm at 1,700 cards, but I'm still Still 200 away from Nate Thurmond. I don't know how high Kobe's going to be or when he'll be available, but not certain I'll be able to get that card or not. We'll see. Regardless, I mean, I don't know. I'm just, I'm in an interesting state with this game right now, to be honest. I am, look, I understand that my recommendation to y'all has been don't open packs recently. I have not listened to my own advice this weekend, and I have spent a good amount of MT on packs. Not any sort of money, but obviously I opened my 10 box earlier this week on Friday, and I got exceedingly lucky out of the 10 box. But then I opened a couple singles last night on the mobile app at like 3 a.m., and I pulled Dark Matter Kwame Brown. My luck this weekend is the dumbest thing I've ever seen, and I honestly truly believe, number one, it's because I haven't opened packs in like a month. I truly believe there is truth, and I'm not the only one who said this. There are a lot of people who can back this up. I think 2K, and it does make sense financially for them to try to suck people back in by juicing people's pack odds who don't open packs and who haven't opened packs. And like legitimately, I opened a bunch. I've opened up several singles this weekend. I mean, in total, I've probably opened a total of like 15 to 20 singles this weekend. Uh, but well, I guess there's that 10 box. And then besides that 10 box, I've opened several singles. But I opened like three last night and I pulled Kwame Brown at 2 a.m. Like that's nuts. You know what I mean? And for me, my luck has been crazy. Obviously, I still do not encourage opening packs, but I think there's some truth to that. I really do. I think you have much, I think you have better pack odds um, when you haven't opened packs in a long time because 2K is trying to suck you back in to a certain extent. And you know what? I will say, getting Dr. J and Kwame, especially like Lamelo's a good card, but honestly, I feel like he's my third point guard right now because I actually kind of like Gilbert better than him. But getting Dr. J, Kwame, and obviously grinding Glenn this week, as well as Artis, who's a ridiculously good 7 2 big with a massive player build, like. My lineup all of a sudden feels much more upgraded, much more well-rounded, and just much more elite as a whole than it did this time last week. And it's definitely made it to where, me personally, I'm enjoying my team more. But at the same time, it's like, yeah, I got lucky, but I just, I have to, in myself, not allow myself to get sucked back in, not allow to, myself to spend money. Because next week, I'm going to lock in the set with MT, right? Because I got 175k MT. 
I'm grinding, I'm good grinding more MT. I'm saving my MT. I got my ring last night. Y'all will see a ring video later today. So be on the lookout for that ring video as well. Um, but like for me personally, I've been grinding the game. I've been playing some triple threat online. I've been obviously I got Glen Rice. I've been grinding a lot, and I'm gonna get lock in the set again next week with MT. But if I don't get lucky next week, I can't let that suck myself back in. That's something that I think is important for us to keep in mind as just as just as a community. Is like <sighs> This gambling stuff is bad, and we can't support it. You know what I mean? And, and just because it's becoming, I feel like, and it's just becoming the new normal because it's the way that it has been and the way that it will likely continue to be for the time being doesn't make it acceptable. You know what I mean? For this to be the normal of my team. And I think it's important for us to just as a community continue to not do the gambling. But I say that and there's lots of people who are just consistently opening packs every single weekend. I feel like I almost am to a certain extent a part of the problem by opening packs myself, even with just MT. And uh, the I got lucky, but like that, I almost think I worried that that incentivizes people who are to also spend their MT or to spend money on packs. And that's what's even worse is if they're spending their money. Because, like, at the end of the day, if you spend your MT on packs and you don't pull anything, like, it's okay. But it's, it's it can be kind of annoying, obviously. And that's why I recommend primarily locking in the set with MT. One of the reasons that I was so comfortable opening with MT as well this weekend is because I was able to lock in the set. But, I mean, I got lucky. You know what I mean? At the end of the day. So... Sometimes that's going to happen, and I just, you can't allow, you got to be smart with your decision making in this game, I think is the most important thing that I'm just basically just trying to say, um, and you just, just do not normalize this gambling, I, I think that's dangerous, and I worry about that, to be completely honest, um, so, overall, uh, today's content is not content, we have a Dark Matter D-Rob who's a good card, but dude, Artis is viable, Dikembe Matumbo is about to be free next week, and he's probably going to be really, really good. Bill Russell is free. That's three free bigs right there that are better than D-Rob. And then if you have a fourth big, I mean, there's lots of guys you can throw in there. There's no need to spend 20 bucks on a David Robinson, in my opinion, just with the free bigs that are available, let alone all the other guys. Oh, Galaxy Opal, Mark Gasol, um, Dark Matter, Amari Stoudemire can 100% play the fourth. There's so much versatility, big man-wise, already in this game. I don't think it's necessary to spend $20 on a card like D-Rob, personally, at the end of the day. And that is going to be the final point of my videos, I just think, in general. Not really worth spending too much money on the game um, definitely not worth funding there's fun to this gambling or anything along those lines and that's what i'm going to continue to encourage at the end of the day is to stay away from doing that uh and you know what fingers crossed for a good week of content fingers crossed for some free stuff the bold content to not be a short point guard tomorrow and be somebody actually good preferably like a six eight six nine small forward with good animations or another seven foot big somebody like that would be super nice give us something solid it doesn't have to be the best card in the game but give us somebody who can at least compete with the top cards at their position somebody like bill russell um who is a really really good card at a important position and helps out these no many sent players that's what we need right now is that type of content to be good because at the end of the day the, the gambling stuff does kind of rule the game and it's important that the other stuff is good enough to keep up so i will say at the same time i personally like i said am having fun with my team right now and i hope y'all are able to find some enjoyment in the game if you're still playing it um but that's gonna do it for this video and i hope y'all did enjoy if you did make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon and i appreciate y'all peace